So what if WWDC 2023 was more about hardware than software for the first time ever? As yes, the amount of products expected for the show seems to be completely unprecedented. Rumors of Google's Pixel Watch 2 start painting the picture the first generation variant should have had. And what if the iPhone 15 Pro Max didn't bring as many of the camera improvements that we've been expecting? I'm Jaime Rivera, and yeah, I also saw the banner for that Razer event coming up, and you bet we're gonna be there, so stay tuned tomorrow. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today, again, are non-existent. Don't worry, that's coming. But let's start today's video with Google since we have new information about the Pixel Watch 2, which if it wasn't for how good that first Pixel Watch was, I would have not cared. According to a new report, the company's second watch is expected to arrive during the fall alongside the Pixel 8 series. And one of the most welcome changes is that it'll drop Samsung's, what, four or five year old Exynos chipset and move to the Snapdragon W5 platform. Whether it's the W5 Gen 1 or W5 Plus Gen 1, regardless, we're looking at a four nanometer chip with four Cortex A53 cores, which is a significant improvement to the Pixel Watch's 10 nanometer Exynos 9110. This change will give the new watch significant improvements in battery, and if it uses W5 Gen 1 Plus, well, it'll have more efficient options for always-on display features, etc. Finally, other improvements expected for the Pixel Watch 2 are specialized health sensors like stress tracking and the skin temperature sensor from the Fitbit Sense 2. Now we're just hoping that they also launch a larger variant for it to be even better. Moving on, let's stick to Google, but let's switch to a very interesting trivia that uh, the company didn't share when it came to the process of building the first Pixel Fold. Believe it or not, it seems like the phone we have today could have been completely different. Rumors about Google's first foldable started many years ago, and it turns out that the model we know today wasn't the only option. In the latest Made by Google podcast, several employees commented that the same team that created the Pixel Fold also created a version we have never seen that lived alongside it and was being tested, but apparently was not good enough in the end, which is why we eventually got to see the one we have. They mentioned that uh, the company's goal was to launch something different and better than what we had already in the market. Unfortunately, they did not mention any more details about this unreleased foldable, so we don't know if it had the same four factor or who knows, maybe this was the Pixel Flip instead, but that said, don't worry. Uh, all we need is like, what, one or two days for this to show up on eBay. So stay tuned and let me know when you have a listing. Now let's talk about Apple and the recent rumors about the camera department for the upcoming iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you've watched our latest videos about the new Pro Max iPhone, you probably know that one of the major expected innovations is to come to the main camera sensors. However, according to Quad Bayer, the iPhone 15 Pro Max will use actually the same IMX803 40 megapixel sensor that we can find on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And while well, you may be wondering then what's changing, and obviously we hear that it's that periscopic zoom lens. Uh, well, doesn't really mention anything related to that part sadly, meaning that we could still expect the 15 Pro Max to feature the rumored lens that'll offer 6x optical magnification. The same report also mentions that Cupertino will use the M12 OLED panel technology that it uses today on this current generation. So yeah, that telephoto better be great if that primary camera is not changing. And finally, for the most interesting news today, let's stick to Apple and talk about what we can expect for this year's WWDC as we continue to get close. Let's start with Max. Mark Ehrman teased something along the lines of this being the longest WWDC keynote ever, even going over two hours, and it makes sense when we hear that Cupertino is gonna launch several new Macs, not just one. We've only been waiting for a 15 inch MacBook Air with M2 and that's just about it. But uh, since he didn't clarify which other Macs are coming, maybe it's time for the Mac Pro with M2 Ultra or maybe an updated Mac Studio. But just keep in mind, aside from that 15 inch laptop, the rest are just our speculation. The other major focus at WWDC is this uh, Reality Pro headset. And we have new details from Ming-Chi Kuo. He stated that the headset will have two 1.41 inch micro OLED displays and listen to this, bringing a 4,400 PPI resolution and over 5,000 nits of brightness. 
I know, this is crazy. Then, in a follow-up tweet, Quo said that the resolution should be 4K per eye. These numbers are impressive because the MetaQuest Pro's resolution is 1800 by 1920, while the PlayStation VR 2 has 2000 by 2040 pixels per eye. Keep in mind, I haven't talked about software, which usually is the highlight of a developer conference. But anyways, in today's question, let us know, I mean, what would you like to see at WWDC? Because yeah, I'll have all the hardware, that's fine. But seriously, all I want is a better file explorer on iPadOS. Seriously, the rest for me is cool but secondary. I know I sound like a broken record, but it needs it that bad. And that's just me. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me enjoy events because they're cool. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.